You know, a volunteer fire company in Elma is having a gun raffle this weekend, and just like they have had twice a year for several years in order to raise some money. But this year, they're inviting other fire companies to join them in staging a protest against a downstate lawmaker's effort to prohibit such fundraising activities. Our Dave McKinley has the story. So it's really important to get everybody together, just to send a, a friendly message back to the, to the governor in Albany that, that we can't really stand for this out here in the rural areas. What Jameson Road Volunteer Fire Company board member Brian Nolan is talking about is a bill in the state legislature which would ban gun raffles. It was introduced by Assemblywoman Joanne Simon, who's from New York City. Well, I like the bill to separate New York City from New York State. We're pretty sure they don't have these types of gun raffles out there. But they've been a staple for years here in Alma, with the funds raised helping to pay for not only the trucks, but the equipment needed whenever these volunteers roll out the doors. We make approximately $30,000 a year from our fundraising gun raffles. In the sponsor's message to the bill, Assembly Member Simon writes, firearm related violence is a significant public health and safety problem and weapons should not be given away in games of chance. But Nolan says if there's one thing she or anyone needs to know, it's that claiming a prize from a gun raffle isn't much different than buying a firearm from a retailer. Anybody that might win a prize at our gun raffle goes through a federal background check by a federally licensed gun dealer who in fact would be on hand to provide that. If you don't pass that, you don't leave here with a gun. And what would it mean if like they passed a bill and this is your last gun raffle? Well, we know one thing for sure, and that would be that we're gonna be putting a, a big burden back on, the back on the taxpayers. Because fire districts like local governments and school districts are subject to the state's mandated 2% property tax cap. But what if someone were to say to you, you know what? Find another way to raise money. Have another chicken barbecue. We've had bingo, chicken barbecues, different types of events like that. They just don't make the money that we need to, to really survive. Nolan says the money the fire department raises through gun raffles represents about 10% of their annual budget. They're inviting other fire companies to bring their apparatus as part of the rally as well, which starts at the Jamison Road Volunteer Fire Company at noon on Saturday. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.